Welcome to this Explain 2 section for Lesson 13.3, where we're covering special right triangles. And you know, we just couldn't hide these uh, trig ratios for too long. They're, they're going to creep right back in to this section of the lesson here. Uh, in the previous video, we covered special right triangles and, and just the side links and the special relationships that occur for 45, 45, 90 and 30, 60, 90 triangles. And now we're going to see... Uh, how trig ratios, the trig ratios that we learn for sine, cosine, and tangent apply to these special right triangles. Okay, so you can go ahead and uh, read the explain to section in the examples here, but the basic gist of it is if you understand how the trig ratios work, you're just going to plug in those side lengths to the particular uh, trig ratios. Now, I'm going to let you read that and, and exercise those awesome reading comprehension skills. Um, and I'm going to jump into the your turn question because uh, I feel like um, sometimes what people need to learn is, is just to, to do the problem instead of just reading something. So if that's you, um, let's jump into this your turn question number one. So there's two parts to this question. We're asked to find CA first. So we're going to find this side length right here. Now, uh, this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So what that means is if you find this side length, you already know this side length because they're going to be the same. Um, what we also want to remember is uh, what I'm what I'm going to do is draw a reference triangle just to know just to remember for myself that whatever this side length is the hypotenuse is just going to be uh, what the one of the leg lengths times radical two. Now, why that's important is because this time we are given the hypotenuse and we're going to look for the length of the side the, the legs and so um, our algebra skills are going to help us identify what the x is. Now to find CA, we already know the hypotenuse, which means we just got to find x. Well, according to our reference triangle here, our hypotenuse is x times radical 2, and in this case it equals 10. So we're just going to work backwards to find x. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, in order for me to find x, I got to get rid of uh, this radical 2 here. So I'm going to do that by using my division property of equality. So I'm going to divide both sides by radical 2, and I get x equals 10 radical 2, but um, we don't want to leave it as 10 radical 2, although you can, right? If you just plug it into a calculator, it'll, it'll punch out a decimal for you. But if we're going to leave it as a rational number, or, or in this case, a, a, yeah, a rational number, um, we, just almost like grammar, right? There's a specific math syntax and grammar that we have to follow here. We don't want to leave that radical in the denominator. So what we're going to do is uh, we want to keep it equal but we want to get that radical out of the denominator by multiplying both the numerator and the denominator in this case by radical 2 and what that does is um, radical 2 times radical 2 is going to equal 2 right because that pops out it pops that out of the radical sign and on in the numerator we have 10 times radical 2 which we can now simplify because 10 and 2 we can we can simplify that 2 goes into 10 5 times so we're left with 5 radical 2. So what that means is BA and CA are going to equal 5 radical 2. And same thing for this, 5 radical 2. All right? Okay, so um, let's go to question C here. We're going to complete the table, uh, presumably for, um, for this triangle here, I'm presuming. So if we know, I mean, let me, um, we draw the triangle here. If we know that this is 10, this is 5 radical 2, 5 radical 2, um, and the triangle is what? B, A, C here. Okay, so they want the sine of x, which is um, opposite over hypotenuse. Um, let's see. All right, opposite over hypotenuse is going to be the same thing for, for whichever one you go with. If you go with this 45 degree angle or that 45 degree angle, opposite is going to be uh, always 5 radical 2 just because of the type of triangle, special right triangle it is. The hypotenuse is always going to be 10 in this case, which let's simplify that. 5 goes into 10 twice, so what we're going to end up with is 2 radical 2. And for cosine of x is going to be the same thing, right? The leg, no matter what, is just 5 radical 2 over 10, which we already simplified to 2 radical 2, or radical 2 over 2, sorry. And then lastly, the tangent of x is opposite over adjacent, uh, which in this case is going to be 5 radical 2 over 5 radical 2, no matter which angle you take. And that simplifies all 
to 1. So what you should get for the table values here are radical 2 over 2, radical 2 over 2, and 1.